Welcome to small house number three. We are going to be transforming it into this little house here. It is from the Plains Village in Minecraft. It's a good place to have your own little starter house. Let's convert it to make it look a little bit better. So here's what we have. The inside is a little bit more spacious and there is even room for a little log store at the back. The only block that is a little bit expensive is the campfires, so you could actually replace them all with something cheaper if you want, like oak trapdoors. So let's get this built. First of all, we're going to knock off these signs, the door and that, and then get rid of these bits of cobblestone as well. Same on the back, get rid of all these blocks like that. It opens up the whole house. Then get rid of these and these. And the blocks we're going to be using are either andesite, cracked stone bricks, dead brain coral block, stone bricks, or stone. If you cannot find dead brain coral block, then you could use cobblestone as a great alternative. I'm going to build with gold blocks and color them in with these textures after so that it's much easier for you to count the blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five. So that is seven by five. Then five blocks, three and one block there. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use some dead brain coral block and put it around here like that. I also want to knock out a window like so. Then I think I'm going to go for some cracked stone bricks around the window and carry them on down there like that and then make a little L shape there. That's looking pretty good. We'll put one there, grab some andesite and we'll go there, then this will be a little shape uh, like that, a nice S shape. Then stone bricks can be most of the rest, like that. The pattern does not matter too much, but I think it is really nice if you group blocks together. So group the dead brainy coral or cobblestone, group the cracked stone bricks, etc. Okay, a little bit further up, we'll go for um, andesite in there, and then I'm going to switch to stone for these blocks. Like that. In fact, that one, I think, can be stone bricks. Then I need some stairs. Let's grab just stone brick stairs. One, two, then stone, 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 like that. And that is one gable end complete. And what we want to do is do roughly the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, three, and one. And again, a hole for the window right there okay so let's make maybe a pattern of andesite around the window and then we'll go maybe some beautiful dead brainy coral blocks like that and then i think maybe some cracked like that mm, okay some andesite here and then there. In fact, let's have lots of andesite on that side of the build and maybe some more stone bricks over there and some stone bricks up here as well. Finishing off with some cracked. That looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with this. Stone brick stairs can go on that side here. I'm going to need some andesite stairs. I think this would be best. One, two, three, like that. Pretty good. Maybe I want to do that. Yes, I think that's a bit better. We will also need some glass. You can choose whatever glass panes you like. I've just gone for plain glass and glass. 
glass and glass there. Excellent. Okay, here is the next materials. We've got oak logs, spruce fences, a barrel, a lantern, oak fence gates, oak stairs, and a chest. So we want to start with some oak stairs here and here. We will also need an oak log right there as well. Now there is a gap here of five blocks one two three four five and then we have our next block this needs to come up a little bit higher like that then we can do upside down oak stairs around there like so and right there at the back we will also need some full oak planks just to fill in the gaps just like that I've put spruce fences across the way and then one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, now it's time to have a look at the roof. Hmm. So we want to make the roof go straight away across. So we need to actually remove one, two, three blocks, one, two, three, and then change this to a normal stair. Also remove you and you and these ones and just make it go straight across like that. Same on this side. Just row, row, row three easy rows and fill it up with oak planks just like that. I think what I, I might also do is put on a slab. Let's go for an oak slab that would be an option do we like it hmm maybe not that would be an option for you I think I'm going to miss it out actually now I want to go for some of these which is campfires but underneath the campfires we have these open gates as well open oak gates so place them open them up and then it's now a turn of campfires can of course use trapdoors spruce trapdoors would look very very good as well campfires a little bit pricey at the start of the game you have to get coal and sticks and all sorts of things let's extinguish these fires good we can have some logs at the back oh I didn't put a window here on this one, so the window, I guess, is actually optional as well. But we have a window on both sides this on this particular prototype. But there we go. Maybe not all the way up, because we could use an oak fence gate there just to support that. Doesn't that look cool? Don't forget to tuck away a little lantern underneath to give it that homely appearance and we want to have a look on the inside because we need to put in an oak door maybe a barrel would look good here open this up and add in our our door there we go the bed needs to get moved probably over to there this little seat or table can get pushed back and then i think i also went for a little bit of luxury <laughs> in my huge mansion i've put a chest <laughs> isn't it amazing up here you can create a little bit more room for yourself by taking out all these blocks and that means you have um, a lot more space which you could actually use for storage you could put chests up there as well i think what i'm going to do is just simply finish it off like that and there we go very simple very easy transformation of small house number three has ended up with this little house here um, don't forget to decorate it with lots of bushes and vines if you get the chance and it might look something like this these simple natural details have really added to the build 
I might add on a few more vines around the back up there and I am really really pleased with that there we go small house number three transformed now I have actually transformed all of the village buildings into this rustic style with little gable ends and each build recognizable as one of the planes village builds if you'd like to see more of these tutorials then do get involved in the comment section and leave me some encouragement also you can download this entire pack of buildings as schematics on my patreon just join me on discord to find out more details thank you so much for watching ciao ciao in the blocks be with you